Good morning everybody, I hope you're all okay and have had a nice Easter. I also hope that you're feeling really excited and ready to go with your home learning with us this week. We've got lots of fun things planned for you. From now on, in my daily videos, I'll be running through four main tasks which I would like you to complete each day. These consist of an English task, a maths task, a topic task and a creative task each day. Mr Nicholson has also sent over some lovely ideas for starter activities which you can do before you begin your learning and also dessert activities which you could do after your learning if you'd like to extend your learning further. You'll notice that we no longer have any paper copies for our home learning so every task I give you to complete is going to be something that you can do electronically on your iPads. Everything that I ask you to complete will also be things that you can do independently but if you do get stuck there will always be somebody on Seesaw to help answer your questions between 9 and 4 every weekday on Seesaw. So make sure if you do get stuck you ask us for some help and we'll do our best to answer your questions. I also wanted to let you all know that each task I set you should take around 30 minutes to 45 minutes to complete. If it takes you a little bit longer to complete it or if it takes you a little bit less time to complete that's absolutely fine but that's roughly how long each task should take to complete. Your English task is split into two short activities today. The first activity is a word search based on your spellings of the week. The QR code will also be posted on Seesaw if you want to scan that in on Spelling Shed and do some extra practice on there. The second activity for your English task today is a reading comprehension. You need to read the text carefully and answer the questions based on what you have read. Both of these activities will be assigned to you as an activity on Seesaw from 9 o'clock today. So you need to go in the activity section on the right hand side of your page to access those. In maths we're going to be starting a new topic from today and that topic is called measuring space. Now because we're going to be doing a new topic we're going to start our learning for maths in a slightly different way using keynotes. I'll be posting a link onto Seesaw which you can follow which will take you to the keynote you're going to be using for the next few days. Today I just want you to work through the teaching slides where I've added in some audio clips to show you how to convert from metres to kilometres and kilometres to metres and then I'd like you to complete the fluency questions based on what you have learned. To get your keynote working, follow the link on Seesaw. It will take you to a place in Drive where the keynote has been saved. It might take a little bit of time to load up. If it does, don't worry. If the screen goes white, you just need to tap it once to make the bar at the top reappear. Once it's loaded, click on the three links and open in. Once that's opened up, you should see a few options. Keynote's already on mine. If it's not, just click more and scroll down and then click on copy to Keynote down at the bottom. Then it should load up onto Keynote. It does take a little bit of time, so if it does, don't worry. And if a little pop-up box comes up, just click the X and it should load fine. Once it's loaded, I want you to scroll to the top of the page if it's not there already. And you will see that the first slide contains your title page, Measuring Space. You can add a selfie on that picture. And then the next couple of slides show your learning targets. And you've got a bit of a self-reflection to complete. There's some prior learning questions which I'd like you to complete first today. And then there are a few pages on here of my teaching slides and my explanations which you can listen to on the voice clips. Today I want you to focus on the fluency questions. Once you've done your maths keynote for the day, you could also have a go at logging on to Doodle. Mr Nicholson posted a video to show you how to go onto Doodle Maths and Doodle English. It would be great if you could try creating a username and password and have a little explore of those two apps today because we're going to be starting to use them more and more often. The Maths app has a great seven a day which I'd also like you to complete as well please. We're also starting a new exciting topic looking at ancient Greece and Greek myths. Now to begin our topic in our task today I would like you to find where in the world is Greece. For this I'd like you to use the Google Earth or Google Map app on your iPads. If you could take a screenshot of the world for me and see if you can spot Greece on there. Then I would like you to zoom in a bit closer and see if you can take a screenshot of the continent that Greece is in. And then finally I would like you to take a screenshot of Greece close up and you can have a little look on that map of the different countries that are around Greece. Maybe some of the different places within Greece 
and you could also have a little look at the continent that Greece is in and other countries that are surrounding it. You're going to use these for your final task which is your creative activity. For this I'd like you to put your screenshots onto a pic collage and add in some interesting facts that you've learnt about Greece too. Now Mrs Slinger has very kindly done an example of this which I will post on Seesaw for you to have a little look at and I would like you to upload your own version onto Seesaw so I can have a look at what you've been doing too. Have a wonderful day everybody and I'm really excited to see all of your hard work soon. Speak to you tomorrow. Bye!